Amber, get the f up. Amber, get the f up. And every single time he said it, he was screaming it louder and louder and louder. Actress Amber Heard testified for hours against ex-husband Johnny Depp in a Virginia courtroom on Monday, alleging horrific verbal fights and beatings, including one she claims left her with this bruise after Depp attacked her with a cell phone in 2016. Pulls his arm back with the phone and throws it at my face. Heard's legal team also showed photos of artwork she says Depp destroyed and claimed the actor would slap and punch and flick lit cigarettes at her. I don't believe he would have taken it too far. I wouldn't be here. The Pirates of the Caribbean star is suing Heard over an opinion piece she wrote in the Washington Post in 2018 in which she called herself a victim of sexual abuse. Heard didn't mention Depp's name in the op-ed, but Depp claims the article defamed him and cost him lucrative acting jobs. Depp denies ever abusing Heard and testified last month that Heard was the one who was physically abusive, including one incident where she threw two bottles of vodka at him with a broken glass nearly severing his finger. Depp sat quietly while the Aquaman actress testified on Monday, but the jury heard audio recordings of the pair arguing. You ain't nobody's mom. You ain't no school teacher. Don't pretend to be authoritative with me. You don't exist. Depp is suing Heard for $50 million. Heard is countersuing for $100 million. In Fairfax, Virginia, Caroline Shively, Fox News. And to go into uh, all of the proceedings in court today, cross-examination from Johnny Depp's legal team, I want to bring in legal analyst Nima Haddadi. Nima, thanks for being with us here on the show. Uh, we have all been waiting for this trial to pick back up. And here we are again with Johnny Depp's legal team asking pointed questions of Amber Heard, some that we probably could have guessed would be asked, uh, including some of that alleged abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse uh, from Johnny Depp. But did any questions come as a surprise to you? No, it didn't overall. I feel like the whole thing, everybody was asking which side was going to do better. Was it going to be the defense? Is it going to be uh, Amber Heard's side? And, you know, it's, it's crazy. It seems like the Johnny Depp's team is doing such a great job of going back, picking apart all of the testimony that Amber Heard has gone through. Um, you could tell that this break really helped them. It seems like they have a great grasp on the material that Amber Heard is testifying to. They know every little bit, anything that's off even uh, a smidgen, the attorney's right on top of it and they're making Amber Heard look very, very uncredible. What about Amber Heard's legal team? Are they doing enough in this case? Are they able to counteract some of those claims from Johnny Depp's legal team? What, what should they be doing differently? I think it's difficult. At this point right now, I feel like most of the jurors, they're getting to the point where they're starting to make up their mind. For me personally, I'm watching this trial and I just keep thinking over and over that for whatever reason, Amber Heard just doesn't seem credible. It could be the defense, it could be the questions that the defense is posing. Um, when I say defense, I'm talking about Johnny Depp's team, but uh, it seems like I don't think Amber Heard's team can come back from this. You know, it's just too much uh, from everything from, oh, the bruises. Um, well, why isn't there any scarring? Why didn't she go to uh, the doctor? Why didn't she get checked up? None of the stories seem to make sense. And on top of everything, I get the sense that Amber Heard, there's no sense of responsibility. Uh, when Johnny Depp was testifying, he talked about himself. He was vulnerable. He said, you know, I have these issues. I have substance abuse issues, but no, not Amber Heard. It seems like I get the feeling that she thinks she's done everything perfectly. Hmm. She has, uh, she bears no responsibility in anything. She was the perfect spouse in this relationship. It, it just doesn't seem real. She says that she's trying to protect Johnny Depp. But then you have her taking pictures of Johnny Depp. Um, it seems like the last person that she really cares about is Johnny Depp. It just, I just don't believe anything that she's saying. Well, you're right. Uh, there has been audio recordings. There has been photos that have been played today in court. And I want to touch on some of the highlights of this um, because people maybe haven't been able to sit and watch the hours of testimony. One of the main highlights, I believe, uh, which 
we, we've we talked about in the past is Johnny Depp still doesn't look at Amber Heard during the trial at all. And that's for a reason. We learned that today in court um, because there was an audio recording of Heard and uh, Depp at their final meeting at a hotel in San Francisco in 2016 after she filed for divorce uh, and obtained a restraining order against him. You could hear Heard saying that she wanted a hug, saying, please, I just want to hug you and say bye. Uh, he then said, I am nothing to you and I will always be nothing to you. You will not see my eyes again. That's why Johnny Depp is wearing those glasses. He's not looking at her. He's looking straight down. What do you make of the theatrics of all of this? It's insane. You know, I, I sit down and I think about all this. At the end of the day, Johnny Depp will not look into Amber Heard's eyes. She's like, you're never going to see my eyes again. He's upset with her. Uh, he's like a scorned lover. Amber Heard is begging, no, no, please, I'm sorry. Just let me get a hug. It's like she is doing something wrong. And he's like, no, I'm, I'm done with this. And even till this day, when she was talking about, um, oh, he said he's never going to look me in the eyes again. That was one of the only authentic moments I thought she seemed like she was going to break down because I think she's in love with him, you know, and she knows that whatever she has done to him or whatever has gone on, he's never going to love her again. And it's, it's, it's devastating, you know, and the way that it was brought out by Johnny Depp's attorneys was brilliant. You know, it was like a slow motion movie. Mm -hmm. um, it, it was, it was great. What does that do for her case as um, a victim of abuse, though? Because she alleges that she is a victim of sexual and physical abuse. If she is still distraught over this, still in love with Johnny Depp, does that help her case? Because um, sometimes that is how victims of abuse react. Definitely. Uh, yeah, could even be recanting witness. The thing is, it depends on Amber Heard's attorney. How are they going to frame this now? Are they going to come back and try to rehabilitate the testimony? Um, they have to do something. They can't just leave it as it is. Because like I said, the what I got from the entire thing was that Johnny Depp is upset with her and she wants to be forgiven. They need to come back and they need to reconfigure and recalibrate this whole thing, you know, because it's not looking good for Amber Heard right now. And one thing I want to touch on, because this has really uh, been somewhat confusing, this $7 million charity donation to the ACLU. What, what are your thoughts on that? Is she being, is she believable in this? She's gone on uh, Dutch talk shows saying that she has made this donation, and then she says she hasn't, and then she says it's not about the money. What, what are your thoughts on all of that? It's, it's complete nonsense is what it is. If she had paid the money, she could have shown proof. Now she's coming out saying, I didn't pay the money. She's saying it's not about the money, but she's countersuing for $100 million. Mm. It's, it's not good for her. You know, this is all, all of this is about credibility at the end of the day. And she's losing it by the second. The more she testifies, the worse it's getting for her. Mm. I feel like her attorneys need to step in and try to do something. Mm. And when you say something, I know I, I just asked you that, but, but what do you do in the immediate? They have to, you know, I, I honestly, at this point, I don't even know. I feel like it's like a slow motion quicksand that's happening. Uh, they should have thought of this over the weekend. They should have prepared for this. It doesn't seem like they can do anything. I'm hoping that they come back around on redirect and they try to do something because it's, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to feel bad for her up there. And I'm like, how much longer is this going to go on? And as I anticipate, I'm pretty sure that Johnny Depp's attorneys are going to keep this going and going and just see how far they can take this thing. And I think we're hearing that this could be the last week of the trial. Do you think it potentially could go longer? What, what are things that you're going to be looking for in the coming days here? Could they wrap sooner than we think? It's all the judge. Yeah. Both sides want more time. Um, they're having concerns right now with timing. I know that the judge actually uh, set limits beforehand. And it seems like Amber Heard's team is, they're running out of time and they know they are. So they're gonna try to do everything they can. I'm sure the, the attorneys are gonna try to approach behind the scenes, see if they can extend this thing. Because the worst thing that can happen is if they can't finish their case 
uh, and close it out and present it in the manner that they want, it's going to be issues. You know, it's going to be problems for them, and they're going to be sitting sitting in bed weeks uh, weeks from now, devastated about what should have and could have happened. Well, uh, legal analyst Nima Haddadi, thank you so much for being with us here on the show. We're going to play out some more of that cross examination uh, as everyone is still watching this, still on the edge of their seat for what happens next, what is exposed inside of that Virginia courtroom. We appreciate you. We'll talk to you soon. My pleasure. Thank you.